What's going on guys? I am with the Moose and I'm back on Diamond Dynasty. Today we got Giancarlo Stanton in right field, the new pickup. We also moved Yasiel Puig to center field and kicked Hanley Ramirez out of the lineup. Stanton's going to be a beast. I can't wait to use him. But we got Oro Hershiser on the mound for this online gameplay. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this one. It was a crazy one. You guys will see why in a little bit. This game is absurd. I got to I gotta be honest guys. But uh, Oro Hershiser dealing early on. Um, awesome to see him pitch. I, this is a collection that I kind of did because I didn't really see anybody else having Oral Hershiser or ever, having, ever, ever having pitch with him for that matter. And I figured, you know, why not? Let's go for it. We did it, and he's kind of fun to use. I'm not going to lie. He's not the best pitcher ever, but he's fun. But uh, Nomar Garcia Pyre leading us off in the bottom of the first, getting a single, and then getting a steal to get on second base early on. Yasiel Puig, our number two hitter, going to come up, line a ball to right field on the ground, and we're going to strike first. We're going to be up one nothing in the first inning. That's how you got to do it. That is exactly what we needed to see right there. And then Ted Williams, of course, grinding into a double play. He really has not been solid online. He's always been good in extra innings games and stuff like that, but not in online. So nothing much there. And then Stanton giving one a shot, but not deep enough. Not even close, really. But uh, hey, what are you going to do? It's only one at bat. No big deal. So moving into the top of the second inning now, Freddie Freeman leading it off. We're going to be able to strike him out. But look at this crap. The ball goes off the backstop and then all the way back to Hershiser, who has trouble picking it up. And he's going to be able to reach first base easily. Now Jason Kipnis up, and he's going to single one to the right side. That's not what we needed. First and second with nobody out. That is exactly the thing we wanted to avoid, especially after striking first. Now he strikes out, and we also throw out Freddie Freeman at third. That is what we needed right there. Now there's a man on second with two down. Let's see if we can get Carlos Gonzalez out. No, we cannot. He takes us deep to right field. Great hit, and hey, this guy's taking the lead 2-1 to one on us. But no big deal. Hershazer is cool, calm, and collected. He's a legend for a reason, and we're able to get out of the inning, thankfully, with only just two runs. So we're only down by one run. Shouldn't be too tough to come back from. And Ted Williams is trying to take that run right back in the top of the fourth, or bottom of the fourth inning, I should say, and he's going to fly out to center field. Brett Gardner making a great catch right there. Now Stanton got a little too testy with that, missed the ball, and struck out for strike three, of course. Now Ernie Banks lining one to right center field. That is what we needed, and he's going to get in there with a nice double. Ernie Banks had a great game. I think he had like something, you know, three, four hits, something like that. But Jeff Bagwell, as he seemingly always does, strikes out in the dirt. That's my fault, but I just can't hit with Bagwell. Now a great drag bump by Gardner. For some reason, Jeff Bagwell made this play and not Pedroia. Don't know why Pedroia didn't charge that one, but what are you going to do? I don't know. Gardner's on at first base, and then they fly one to left field. Ted ranging over there. I can't believe he made the catch. Wasn't really a, the greatest catch or anything. I just didn't think he had enough room, but he did. And now we actually pick him off on a pitch out, and we're able to get him at first base, trying to steal. He was trying to do some funky stuff on the bases all day. You got to try to combat it combat it in MLB 15, the shows, Diamond Dynasty Online. And uh, that's what we exactly what we had to do. Now, Stanton leading off the next inning. I believe it was the top of the or bottom of the sixth here, or bottom of the seventh, I should say. Uh, and he grounds out, but Ernie's getting another hit. That is really what we needed. And you guys are seeing here, it is only the seventh inning, but you still got a lot of video to watch. So you're thinking, what is going on right now? Is there a lot more innings to go? Yes, Monty Grandal up with a golden opportunity. Gets a single up the middle. That is what we want. Yas has actually been really good for me. Uh, great player. And then Dustin Pedroia. I don't know why I swing it inside pitch with him. I got to stop doing that. He cannot hit inside pitches unless you are really early on them. So that uh, end of the inning right there. And then Yasiel Puig making a great catch, running in there, able to track it down. Now on the top of the eighth inning, Hershiser is still pitching. We do give up a single, so no big deal, but got to get out of this inning with you know no runs given up. We really need to make sure we can get these outs. Hershiser gets another strikeout right there. And then the first pitch of the next at-bat, Brett Gardner and Dustin Pedroia laying out for the grab, and he's able to throw him out at first to Bagwell. So we um, you know, are still in this. We're only down by one. Stanton leading off again, and he's going to fly out once again. I don't know what is up with him. I have you know, had some difficulty with him. He's not been awful or anything, but anytime in clutch situations, he has been a little bit you know, lackluster. But Ernie Banks, once again, another single through the left side. He has been counted on time and time again. And we're in the bottom of the ninth now. I should have mentioned that. Now, Jeff Bagwell did not offer on that, and we're actually able to get into second base with Jose Altuve, who I pinch ran with. And now uh, we do strike out this time, but we go to third with Altuve. Kind of dumb, but we got there. I will take it. That is all we needed. Now, Haley Ramirez up, 3-0 count. He's going to take the walk. This guy did not want to pitch to him at all. And then Dustin Bedroya, clutch delivery through the right side, and we're able to tie up the game with two down in the bottom of the ninth inning. Haley Ramirez barely sliding into second safe. Now, Xander Bogarts trying to pinch hit, trying to end the game right there. Not quite. Strikes out, and Pat Neshek, the god, comes in 
in the 10th inning, and here we go, guys. This is the most unbelievable outing I've ever seen by a pitcher. He does give up a hit right here, but this guy came in in, I think, the 10th inning and just dominated. This dude was swinging at everything. Look at these pitches. They're nowhere near the zone. I'm not even really trying to throw strikes per se. I mean, if you're going to swing at bad pitches, I'm going to let you. And I'm going to say, you know, why not? Let's hit with Neshek. And he gets a hit down the left field line off third base. Unreal. Pat Neshek, first career plate appearance. I actually checked after this game. He has never hit, uh, you know, in the MLB. He's never had an at-bat. And uh, so that was his first technical career at bat, and he gets a base hit, and it. it's awesome. But then Puig grounds in uh, almost to a double play, does able to beat it out. And Ted Williams up 0-2 count, and he strikes out on a nasty curveball. So I don't know. This guy brought in Tanner Roark, who was actually really good as well. Now Grandal getting out of the box, able to quell that, uh, that uh, drag bun right there. That is not what we want. Uh, no drag bunts. They're annoying. But uh, we got rid of him. And then two straight strikeouts to end that inning. So Nishek is still dealing. Bottom of the 13th now. Stanton gets fooled on a nice changeup outside. But, uh, you know, on the zone. And then Jose Altuve ripping one to center. And you never know. Maybe Altuve can put one out of the yard. Not quite. Pretty short of the warning track. So really no danger there. And then Jeff Bagwell. What do you know? Strikes out on another curveball. That is pretty much what he does. Now Nishek up to almost 50 pitches. Unbelievable outing like I mentioned to you guys. And he's able to retire the first batter of the inning in the 14th. Next batter, Jason Kipnis, able to get him to ground out. This time, Salvador Perez in the game. We made a ton of changes. That's actually why I had to hit with Pat Neshek is because I had nobody left. And then get his Salvador Perez on a crazy circle change. Wasn't even ready for it. Now on the top of the 15th, showing you guys just how good Pat Neshek was in this game. Able to get another out right there. And they were able to pick off Carlos Gonzalez with a crazy pickoff move. Pat Neshek doing everything this game really impressive and that was actually a huge pickoff because he actually gets a single right away right after that so it would have been first and second maybe first and third if i hadn't picked him off huge uh you know pickoff and then a strike him out throw him out just crazy plays going on i mean we're in the bottom of the 15th inning this is an online game no more garcia para leading off with a you know, drag bunt trying anything to giant get something going he's on it first now and he's on it second because we got a steal now yasiel puig putting a charge into one into deep right center field might thought i might have ended this one with a gap or double, not quite, but Nomar's easily going to move up to third. So we have a great chance right now, and he's going to walk Ted Williams, no doubt about that. Can't blame him for that whatsoever. So Ted is on right here with Stanton up. What is Stanton going to do? He's going to K. That's what happens, whatever. Giancarlo Stanton Ks, and then Jose Altuve almost gets a single, and his shortstop makes an incredible play to get it to second base and get Ted on the force out. Next inning, Nishek is still delivering. This is his seventh inning of work. Unbelievable, guys. He gets the first guy, gets the second guy, Brett Gardner, to fly out to left field. And then the third batter of the inning, Pat Nishek, able to strike him out on a nasty circle change. This was actually when he was out of energy, so I was finally going to have to bring somebody in. And then, hey, what do you know? Jeff Bagel, of all people, delivering a nice base hit to lead off the bottom of the 16th inning. He's on with a single right there. And then Salvador Perez able to bunt him over. Didn't want to take too many chances. I wanted to make sure I had a chance. And then, hey, I don't know what he was doing, but he bunted or he threw over to second base for some reason. I don't know what he was doing. And then we get a single with Dustin Pedroia. Again, thought I might end it. Not quite. Didn't want to test him. A great throw. And then who else but Pat Neshek is up. And we pull a savage move and go suicide squeeze on him. And Neshek wins it. Oh, my God. Pat Neshek seven innings of relief didn't get the player of the game i was shocked also had the game winning rbi he had a hit a sacrifice bunt or not even a sacrifice bunt a suicide squeeze bunt he pitched seven innings eight k's great game hope you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like down below and i'll see you guys later